Well hello there, this is Elskeeper and in this episode we'll take a look at mods that will make your game as realistic as it is possible. Enjoy! We are starting off with the sun is not yellow. As the name implies, mod changes what color of sun you can see. In our world that has atmosphere and sun looks yellow, but in reality it's not and will make it much more realistic for it to be more white than yellow. This mod fixes that. This makes shadow and overall feeling, especially in space, more akin to reality. And feeling more real is something that we are trying to achieve. Next we do have Space Just Got Real and it's another mod that interacts with the sun. This time it changes how bright it is in space. Because as you know, space is mostly empty and for a place to be bright, light must scatter. If the light doesn't have anything to scatter from, it will be dark and with this mod, you can see how dark space is. Shadows are dark, deep and very prominent. This of course changes the feeling of the game. It was a bit of light-hearted atmosphere and now you might find new feelings, like the feeling of unknowing, fear that something might be in the dark, but also willingness to discover. You may find that you want to explore more just because it feels more realistic and with that rewarding. Also being in your tight spaceship may now give you push to work on that lightning so it's not that dark and scary. Just a little disclaimer, if you want to use both of these mods you of course can, but the space just got real and sun is not yellow, the space just got real won't be as dark as it usually is, so this is a little disclaimer for you. On our release we also have water mod, and this changes a lot because as you know we don't have any water in Space Engineers. On planets that we should have water we have ice in vanilla. This mod changes it, you now have access to adding water to your planet. But it isn't just texture for ice, no no no, it's working water. You can build ships that may sail, you can build submarines, aircraft carriers, destroyers, corvettes, underwater stations, whatever you want. Realistic aspects come from the water having resistance, your craft having different buoyancy and of course having actual water in space engineers. If you are worried that this mod completely deletes ice, worry no more, it doesn't. It simply changes some of it into water that you can mine and some of it stays in solid form that you may know from vanilla game. Adding it to your world is very very easy and you can configure it any aspect of it. For example, what height should the water level be? The next mod, which also works very well with the last one, is Aerodynamics Physics, which I talked about in my last episode about mods, so you may, may or may not know it. This mods add realistic aerodynamics to space engineers. You can now build planes that may have different level of lift, you have to worry about drag, it gives you the ability to glide through the air. I do like how this mod finally gives a purpose to aerodynamically building your craft, so you may want to work on that design to make it as fast and stable as possible. Oh and don't forget that entering the atmosphere may result in your craft burning down, better slow down to avoid that. Last but not least we have solar system mod from GWS and in the terms of realism and size you have to download is a huge one. But this mods adds our whole solar system to the game. So we now have 8 planets that you can find in real life in our solar system, Pluto that some may say is a planet, and 19 moons. On top of that, the diameter of all celestial bodies is trying to be as realistic as it can be while being in the game. The same goes with gravity, so we can expect bigger planets to have bigger gravity forces. Worth noting is the distance between worlds that have been changed to better simulate a real solar system. Adventure may now take much more time, but it can also mean it will be more rewarding. So you better do your research before venturing into expeditions, because you may find yourself in trouble. You can now build an outpost on many more planets, with different environments, each you may want to explore and conquer. Solar system mod makes exploring much more interesting, because it adds so much more stuff to see. Also there is an aspect of it being our solar system that we are currently living in. Being able to see it, walk on different planets, build a base where your home is located is a really good feeling. All of these mods will make your game much more realistic and hopefully for some people it means it will be more fun. I recommend checking out at least some of the mods that interested you the most and having fun with them. So that would be all, thanks for watching, if you liked the video leave a like, maybe subscribe and I see you in the next one, bye.